Airtable base with Softer to take advantage of dynamic blocks. Let's start by adding a dynamic block. Simply select the dynamic block tab, find the dynamic block of your choice. Once the block has been added to the canvas, select the block itself, and now we're going to connect to Airtable. Simply select the Setup Airtable button. And now all we need to provide is an Airtable API key. To get your Airtable API key, simply navigate to your Airtable account. Select the top right icon and the Account tab. From here, all we need to do is scroll down to the API section Select your API key from the field, copy it, navigate back to the software studio and simply paste it in. All we need to do now is click the connect to Airtable button. Now that we've connected our Airtable base to the software account, all we need to do is now select the base that we want to pull through. Simply select the drop down field and the base that you want to use, and then the table that you want to use for this particular dynamic block. The next step is now to configure the data from your Airtable base to Softer. Let's start by filling in some of the list item fields. So the first one we're going to pull through is the image. All I need to do is select the content, find the content I want to pull through, from the drop down list. And again, keep repeating this step until you've complete all the fields. So we're going to pull through the name. And then we're going to pull through a blurb. And lastly, we're going to pull through the category. That's all the fields we need. We can hide or remove the other fields. And in the next step, we want to add some of the dynamic filters. So let's find the filter option. We want to be able to filter by the category type. So I've selected the category types, and then I've got the option to remove any of the category options from the dynamic list filter. And then the last step we could add the ability for your users to be able to search. All we need to do again is select from your base which particular fields you want your users to be able to search from. We're going to be able to select the blurb and let's select the name category. Now that's you configured your dynamic block and connected your Airtable base to software.